What do you get <laughs> when you wrangle up seven kids that got famous for doing stuff like this? You can do anything you want when you sexy. And like this. And like this. I got plans for me and you. And you cast them all in a made-for-YouTube medical drama which unfortunately requires a fair amount of acting. Let me give you a hint. You get what I like to call an absolute flipping. Brainer! Introducing YouTube's number one new hit drama, Attaway General. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and let me just tell you what a delight it is to put this on the radar for those of you watching this video that were previously plagued with the misfortune of just not being aware of this show's existence. It's a real honor. <laughs> so to nutshell what's going on, there is a digital media network appropriately named Brat, and they have a YouTube channel called Brat TV where they syndicate content geared towards teenagers. Then one day they had a meeting where all the executives were sitting around brainstorming content ideas and they thought to themselves, what is the longest running, most successful television series on television right now? And someone in the back was like, oh, I think uh, Grey's Anatomy's been on the air for 15 years and the actors make a ton of money. So they wrote it down, Grey's Anatomy. And then someone else in the back, Nick, I believe he's an intern. He's only been there six months, but he's been great, bringing a lot of ideas to the table, really valued at Brat TV so far. He's like, you know what? Most of the teenagers these days, our target demographic, they're all spending their time on TikTok. And all the old executives are like, oh, TikTok. And just then, a light bulb went off. We'll take the formula for the most successful television show, we'll cast it with a handful of popular TikTok influencers to tap into their young audience, and we'll distribute it on YouTube where we can maximize our advertising profits. Yes! Yes! Then they all shared an energetic round of high fives and moseyed on home to pleasure themselves with handfuls of $100 bills. At least that's how I like to think it went. I just have no way to prove it, but I'm like 75% sure. So they get the green light and they go on to cast these seven very popular TikTok influencers with a combined following count of 50 million. And then the cameras start rolling. I think we should keep this strictly professional. What did I do wrong? Nothing. Just not interested in being anyone's fresh meat. So as a TikTok fanatic and someone that owns the Blu-ray DVD box set of every episode of Grey's Anatomy in seven different languages, <sighs> it's safe to say I'm a little bit excited for Attaway General. And in fact, the pilot episode, I expect big things because you know in the pilot you really need to hook the audience in so they'll stick around for the full season. Let's take a peek. Today's premiere of Attaway General is brought to you by Just Dance 2020. Brother, sisters, everybody sang. <laughs> Well, a brand integration right off the top. That's one way to get me hooked. I, <laughs> if you know me, you know I love a good brand integration, so I can't even get mad at it. That's how I make my living. But uh, boy, oh boy, they do it differently these days, I'll tell you. This game is honestly so much fun, and I can't wait to play with my entire family. So that's Dixie D'Amelio, one of the stars of the show, and sister to Charlie D'Amelio, who is the biggest TikToker in the world, the 62 million followers, the most followed account, rose to fame through her incredible execution of hitting the woe and the renegade. <laughs> the teen volunteer or TV program is what you make of it. The more you prove yourself, the more rewarding your time will be. When will we get to observe in the ER? The ER is usually reserved for third year TVs. As first year TVs, you guys will be on pediatrics. So they set the stage by having this doctor played here by Maddie Monroe orientating this group of what they call team volunteers. There's the overly exuberant one. You'll help with clerical work, transpo, keeping patients company. Yes. The classic eye roll personality. Babysitting, great. That's right, Georgia. The ID gaff rebel. Any questions? Jack. Yeah, what time do we get off? I'm gonna pretend like I didn't hear that. And the studious one. When will we get to observe in the ER? This is Nurse Sandy. She's the heart of the ER. Make her laugh and bring her chocolates and you're golden. But if you make her mad, you're gonna have a really rough road at this hospital. Honestly, I can't even get mad at the acting chops on Maddie playing the doctor here. We haven't given the others a chance to shine quite yet, but I'm giving this a soft seven right out of the gate, which is way higher than my expectations coming in. Out of the way, ER, what do you got? How many more incoming? Ambulance bay needs hands. The what bay? Ambulance. 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 Huh. I guess my two-year-old son was right all along. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Metro bus crash downtown. We're about to be at capacity. What can we do? Nothing. Maeve. This is Maeve. 
She's our top second year. She's gonna finish the tour while I go home. You literally just showed up as an untrained volunteer three and a half minutes ago. Take it easy, studious one. Follow me. Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna be amazing. I love the contrasting personalities. Really brings a lot of complexity and depth to the characters. I'm really excited to see where this goes after this ball and intro, I'm sure, that's about to play. This is the break room. This is where we hang out and have lunch. As first years, you're responsible for Franklin. Um, who's Franklin? This is Franklin. He's a little temperamental, so gotta make sure you clean him out nice. Shut the fuck up. They named the coffee pot and put eyes on him? Good lord, so it's not only a drama, it's a little bit comedy too. I swear to God, these kids. Oh. Didn't we be doing more than learning how to make coffee? There's an emergency out there. I was getting to that. Chill. Jack and Rosie, you guys can help me upstairs with lunches. Kit and Georgia, there's a new shipment of donated toys in the shed. I want you to find them, sterilize them, and bring them to the pediatric wing. The shed? Oh, there's that eye roll. I didn't even know if she was actually going to do it when I made that comment earlier, but that's just too perfect. The classic eye roll personality. Well, I can see why they call this room the shed. Come on, the faster we finish, the faster we can go do something real. We've been here five seconds. Studies show we form lasting impressions about others within seconds of meeting. So I can't be with you in a closet when I meet Dr. Henry. That's what I'm saying. See, I love this girl. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Do you want to be in the shed sterilizing toys when you meet Dr. Henry for the first time? Or do you want to be in the middle of an open heart surgery five minutes into your team volunteer day? Like, she's got her priorities straight, thank God. This Dixie girl, absolute slug. He's the most brilliant surgeon in the state. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the same accolades as a father. Seriously? You're his daughter? You're so lucky you don't even know it. Plot twist! Dad's the famous doctor. That's why she's this spoiled little privileged rich white girl. God, there's a hairpin turn at every corner in this show. You're giving me the impression I don't want to be in the same room as you. Ooh. Well, that's mutual. If you're so advanced, why don't you go scrub in? Leave me be. <laughs> so, why did you volunteer to work at a hospital? I got arrested. Beats Juvie. Badass alert. Oh, we got some, do we have some future love music? You? I just love to help people. Oh, for real? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Run that back. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello? Hey, do you work here? Sure do. What do you need? Uh, my doctor. She took me back here forever ago, and she hasn't come back yet. Sorry, but it's really busy right now. There's been a huge accident. I know. I was in it. Oh. Burned. That must have been... Horrific and life-altering. Yeah, thanks for bringing it up. In fact, I may have got lucky, but I lost both my parents and my brother. Just, uh, I'm a little worried right now because I'm losing a lot of blood. And my favorite sweatshirt. You should be fine to wait a little. If you hit an artery, you would have passed out by now. That's comforting. Sir, you're fine to wait a while, okay? Trust me, I'm a team volunteer. Day one, actually, I've had no medical training and I've done no assessment of your injuries, but as long as you didn't have an artery ripped out, you're gonna be fine. Lots of pressure. And soak it in cold water. The sweatshirt. Oh, thanks. That's great advice. I'm holding. Kit. That look suggests another future love interest. We're really wasting no time here with the romanticizing of this whole hospital scene. Uh, really just exactly what the teenagers want, so right on par. So, if you don't mind me asking, what did you do to get arrested? In prison, you're never supposed to ask about the crime. <laughs> It's with the prison storyline. They're trying to shoehorn into this thing. Come on, dude. You're the last one. You have to eat. Hey, don't ignore me. Um, hey, Jack, maybe try a gentler approach. Hey! That's mine! Eat your food. What are you doing? You can't just force him. Here, let me try. Get ready for the choo-choo train. Chugga chugga choo-choo. How about the airplane? <laughs> Obsessed with what they did there from a production standpoint. They had the beat building up in the background and then time the kick drop with the splatter of the food on his vest. Take a look. Yeah. Hey, 617, the online. Oh, you know I'm getting in this food fight. Shorty, make me feel nice. Make me wanna act right. 
We just transitioned to a new scene, but now the beat's about to stop, doing? and now that's oh, well, that's well, that's it. It would have been so much cooler if that dude just busted right into some bars right as the food hit his jacket. Missed opportunity by the production team there. I am available for hire if you need some help in the future episodes. I don't think that's gonna hurt anyone. Depends where I put it. Your new TV, aren't you? Nicely done, Sherlock. Now, what are you doing? Do you always sneak up on people when they're sleeping? He kind of does have those vibes, doesn't he? Actually, I had a reason to be in here. Some of us have work. Am I supposed to congratulate you? If you want to. Wow! Microaggression! Good lord! This day and age to include that in a show geared towards teenagers? Are you kidding me? Cancel the writers, cancel the producers, cancel the actors. This is, this is despicable. Did he ask permission for an intimate lead-in like that? I didn't see it. Okay, that had Bill Cosby vibes all over it. I am this close to starting, to try to start getting a, a hashtag trending on Twitter. So watch out. This show is on thin ice. They better reel it in from here. Oh, never mind. She smiled afterwards, so it's fine. BP's too low. I can't oh, find no. a vein. We need more hands. The BP's Yo, low. Here. It's our first day. Get over here. Come Get on. over there. Her BP Double is up. low. Blow the elbow and squeeze as tight as you can. Oh, now don't worry about what? hurting her. Good. Minute longer. Uh, and we're in. Is she stabilized? Is she stabilized? Is she stabilized? Keep up the rescue breaths. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my God. Comedy, romance, suspense. Oh my, what a roller coaster. Are you kidding me? This is a thrill ride, a mile a minute. The adrenaline was amazing. So first I stuck into the ER and there was this boy, he was bleeding everywhere. So I saved his life. I'm sorry, did you say saved his life? You should be fine to wait a little. If you hit an artery, you would have passed out by now. Well, you'll be fine for a while. If you hit an artery, you'd be passed out by now. You can wait for a while. Saved his life. Are you shitting me? Now the studious one's a pathological liar as well. This makes for incredible television or YouTube, whatever the fuck this is. And then Dr. Henry called me over out of all the nurses in the ER to help save this girl with third degree burns. It was crazy. <sighs> While you guys are patting yourselves on the back, your patients are still in critical condition. Wait, they have patients now all of a sudden? I thought they were just day one team volunteers in charge of making coffee. What's, what is happening? Despite a few hiccups, you guys survived. Next week, try to be a little more professional. These will help. Wow, this is so cool. Hold on, did they just? Wow, this is so cool. Did they just overdub that, but not cut away from a shot that shows all of their mouths not talking? Wow, this is so cool. Who said that? Wow, this is so cool. Is there a fifth member of the team volunteers that we haven't even met yet on the sidelines that's excited about these scrubs? Who is saying that? Wow, this is so cool. Nobody's talking! Fucking cut the B-roll! This is the pilot episode, for Christ's sake! Just look at this edit. I think it was supposed to be her talking. Look at this absolute failure of an edit. Wow, this is so cool. What is the budget for the show and you let something like that slip through the cracks? You think you can get one by on the fucking master of Final Cut Pro? The master of zoom edits and adding extra eyeballs when they don't belong? Get that garbage out of my house! This show just went from a 9.5 out of 10 down to a 2.3 out of 10. I can handle terrible acting, no plot, and just overall complete garbage, but the second you try to slip in overdubs and then, but without cutting out the, oh my God. It has my name on it. Yeah, Jack, it does. Well, that was the premiere of what would have been my new favorite web series before it was sullied by an unforgivable editing mistake at the very end and I'm just conflicted and frankly let down and sad and tired because I just hate to see something with so much potential go to waste with such an egregious fuck up. I imagine most of you watching this are probably very excited about this show, so don't let my personal beef with the editing mistake ruin your experience. I know there's a lot of, a lot of fun to be had here. I'm sure the comments probably echo that same thing, just the absolute adoration for what, what proves to be maybe the next Grey's Anatomy in, uh, in an online ecosphere, ecosystem of content. Atmosphere? Fuck. This is why you don't comment on TikTokers post. Get them a Netflix show. This show isn't even Walmart version of Grey's Anatomy. It's a gas station version of Grey's Anatomy. That's a pretty funny comment, actually. Edit. Oh my god, thank you guys. Son of a bitch!
Yes. Until my dying breath, I will crusade on the internet trying to beat it into the heads of these young kids that when you put edit, oh my God, thanks for the likes, it makes you look weak, stupid, and pathetic. Stop putting that. When you post a comment, if it's good and it gets likes, you should expect it to get likes. Don't be surprised about it. Take fucking control of your life. God damn it. I cringe the whole time. Acting is not for everyone. Stick to TikTok. All right, cut these guys a break, okay? If you can get famous by dancing and lip syncing to 15 seconds of popular songs, obviously you can act. <laughs> They're basically the same thing. The best actor, the girl who was passed out. <laughs> okay, sarcasm aside, this show is, is just a treat for me. It's fun to laugh at, obviously, but I, I mean no shade for any of the people involved, right? These TikTokers, they're probably getting the bag right now, prospering in the new digital age. I'm sure many of them will go on to have prosperous careers, lip syncing rap songs and shit. I don't know, but more power to them. They're simply uh, capitalizing on a market that exists at scale because young people are entertained by absolute nonsense. And maybe at this point you're thinking, Leon, this is content clearly made for teenagers. It's gonna be horrific for anyone that has an adult brain. Why do you even care, okay? And my response to that is, hey, hey, Shut up, okay? I don't make fun of your hobbies. Don't make fun of mine. The truth of the matter is, though, there's a lot of money changing hands between the digital media network, Brat TV, and these advertising agencies, and these influencers. A lot of bags being tossed around, and anytime there's a lot of bags being tossed around, I like to see what's going on in the mix, right? Because maybe in 11 years, when Jackson's a teenager, my son, I'll make my own medical drama featuring just him and I, and Nigel, maybe. Cha-ching. So now that I've done you the absolute solid of showing you this gem, if you could do me a solid and take a triple dose of NyQuil and wait about 45 minutes until you're just about to fall asleep and start drooling all over yourself, rip your pants off and pulverize the like button with a little hip thrust, that would be great. And also, just subscribe if you haven't, because if you don't, I'll get in a fist fight with your dog, and I will win, and I will hold that over you for the rest of your goddamn life. So do it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.